now joined by my colleague uh, Abdi Nur Abdi to discuss the rift between Somalia's president and prime minister. Uh, Abdi Nur, good to see you and thanks uh, for your time. Let us in on the latest from Mogadishu. A very good evening to you too and uh, indeed uh, the issue of uh, the rift between Prime Minister Mohamed Hussein Roble and President Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed Farmajo. The latest update is the Council of Presidential Candidates who have uh, further contributed to the ongoing uh, developments in the country where they have called on uh, President Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo to step aside and uh, considering the fact that he is also a candidate. That is the latest addition uh, with even increased calls to uh, for, for uh, um, resolving the standoff between the two leaders. Uh, Abdinur, help us here. Has the president, you know, given the country any reason for uh, suspending the prime minister? Yes, indeed. Uh, going by the official statement from the presidency is that uh, pending the conclusion of the ongoing investigations over the alleged uh, encroachment onto the property of the Somali National Army uh, by uh, Honorable Mohammed Hussein Roble, the president has uh, 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 asked the prime minister to step aside until uh, acquitted uh, of the accusations. Uh, and uh, it doesn't seem as if uh, Prime Minister Roble is taking this. Uh, he said, uh, well, this is a, a coup attempt, and he's, he, he seemed to have his supporters by him. Yes, indeed, and uh, he has also uh, released uh, a counter-statement, uh, uh, even referring to uh, President Hamdoulaye Farmajo, as the former president, uh, which was for the first time uh, having the use of such a title, uh, going uh, by the fact that it was indeed President Mohamed Farmaju who actually appointed the prime minister um, slightly over a year ago. Therefore, uh, the pri uh, Mohamed Hussein Roble has also claimed that uh, uh, President Farmaju uh, is a candidate himself, and uh, in the Somali statement he says no to coup, yes to elections. Is this is this related in any way uh, to the elections uh, in the country? Well, ahead of uh, before the, st uh, the statement or the decision by the presidency of uh, the uh, dismissal of the former Prime Minister Mohammed Hussein Roble, uh, there was also uh, a statement from the presidency calling on for the convention of a leadership. Uh, consultative meeting inviting the federal member states leadership and uh, the Bernardi Regional Administration inviting them for a meeting uh, to discuss the elections, uh, calling the Prime Minister uh, himself, uh, derailing the process and not, uh, you know, meeting the set timelines for uh, completion of the lower house elections. And uh, the President had actually uh, uh, called that uh, meeting because it was taking longer than usual since the set timing of 24th December uh, that the law house election should have been done by then. But as we speak, only a handful of seats have been completed. Therefore, this is actually in one way uh, or, or the other also related to the elections because the prime minister, the former prime minister is accused of instead of focusing on the elections, uh, he was focused on uh, uh, engaging in other transactions not related to the electoral process. And quickly, before I let you go, um, let us in on what uh, other stakeholders or other politicians, uh, you know, from across uh, the divide are saying uh, concerning uh, this uh, uh, situation in your country. Well, indeed, uh, many are calling for uh, mediation between uh, Mohamed Hussein Roble and President Mohamed Abdullahi, Mohamed Farmajo, because uh, the country is currently at a critical period with only the lower house elections left, considering the fact that the senatorial or the upper house elections were completed uh, several weeks ago. Therefore, for, in order not to affect the stability of the country at the current period, uh, we've had many uh, political uh, influential uh, political leadership, both in and outside Somalia, calling on for talks between the two leadership. And uh, in addition to that, also, 
Uh, we've had the arrival of uh, some of the mem presidents of the federal member states who have also been in the capital Mogadishu uh, with their most latest leader to arrive there being the, the president of the uh, Galmuduk uh, state. Therefore, all are praying for peace and talks between the leadership in order to uh, not to affect the gains made by the country as far as uh, rebuilding and uh, institutional capacity building and uh, uh, strengthening the structures of the country are concerned. Abdi Noor, Abdi, many thanks uh, for unpacking this for us.